Hi, Yvette Van Veen here from Awesome Dogs, and we're just going to do a basic down using some luring today. Start with the dog in a sit. Take a treat, place it on the dog's nose, and slowly, I mean really slowly, pull that treat down towards the ground, right between the dog's two front paws. You're going to click or say yes when the dog's elbows touch the ground and the treat is going to go on the ground. Here it is in slow motion. If your dog gets up, just start again. It can take a few times before your dog gets it. Practice lots of puppy push-ups until your dog is really confident at this part. I have many treats in my right hand that's doing the luring. This way, the dog is working at a really fast rate um, and doesn't have the time to get distracted. The click you hear means, good job, you've earned a treat, and the dog learns that they should repeat that behavior. You could also use the word yes. We can now add the word down as a command. When you do, say the word and then wait at least 10 seconds to see how your dog responds. It's a little like asking a kid what's three times four and giving him some time to think. But don't repeat your command, otherwise your dog will start to learn that it means nothing or that it's always repeated. Come, come. Down. It's common for dogs to struggle a little bit. If they don't get the answer within 10 seconds, give a hint, but not the entire answer. So don't lure all the way to the ground. Gradually start luring less and less so we start uh, getting rid of that point to the ground um, because we want it to be a verbal command. Down. Keep practicing until your dog drops immediately the first time you ask. Now this time we're practicing in a quiet environment. Uh, this way the dog can concentrate, they can be successful most of the time. So it's important that they do get it right on a consistent basis in this environment before moving on to the next step. Down. You might wonder why I am breaking up the treats and feeding a bunch of crumbs instead of using one treat at this point. What I'm trying to do is encourage the dog to stay in the down position for longer down. periods. This also is um, something to show the dog that if they lie down on their own, um, that there's multiple treats that are coming. Ironically, it's still only one treat, um, but the dog gets to enjoy it for a longer period of time. Now's the time to get out of dog training posture. That's that position where you're hunched over the dog and you have your hand and out stretched and you have a treat in your hand. You need to start moving um, and walking and asking the dog unexpectedly to lie down and also use different tones of voices. Now a dog that knows their commands will respond to a whisper eventually. Come it down. 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 Come on.
down. The last bit is to finish the job, and this is the uh, one part that many people overlook. Just because your dog is trained in the house doesn't mean that they can do it um, in a distracting environment or a new place. So get outside, go to different places, practice, 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 um, so your dog learns that down means down in any environment. And we'd love to have you uh, use these videos, train, but make sure you share them as well. Um, for more information, you can find us on the web at www.awesomedogs.ca. Um, and if you look in the speech bubble, um, you'll see our Facebook page. Uh, come on over and like us, and uh, that's where we'll be sharing new videos as we create them. Um, and we hope that this has been helpful for you.